We were doing a session here for another artist on the label, and one of my partners, Darren, was producing. His producer was actually in playing guitar on a session. He said, hey, I'm really working with this new artist. I think they're terrific. You know, I want you to hear them. That'd be nice. When I brought the record to Orange, I didn't bring a bio or a picture of the traditional sort of um, promo package or EPK. All the baggage not he really didn't tell me very much about the artist. Uh, it was very elusive. He just kept saying, just listen to it, just listen to it. I'm looking into friendly eyes. It's kind of a strange story. I was lying on the floor of Aubrey's office, completely disenchanted with the record business, and saying to Aubrey, what are you playing, by the way? It's a fine time for April on the ground. So that's this kid, Justin Hines. I don't know anything about him. I've never been one for the My 14-year-old son, Corey, came in and said, what are you listening to? We didn't know who it was. We didn't know why this artist wasn't signed. But Corey tends to like music that, you know, peels the skin off your face. So I said, I'm listening to Justin Hines. You want me to shut it off? Miles away. He said, no. He goes, this is great, Dad. There's a man that's sad so Aubrey called Justin Abbott, the, the producer, and said, you know, no offense, but why doesn't this guy have a deal? He's fantastic. Farewell. He said, I need to know more about Justin Hines. I need to know. like, what... And I kind of let him hang for a bit. But she's on her way. I was trying to sort of figure out, well, why is it that we don't know anything about this artist? He didn't know anything about him. He says, what does this guy look like? I can't really get a sense on the internet. So I was surfing the net, and I found at the bottom of a uh, web page. He had no idea, because I wanted people to hear the music first. And I said, well, you, you left out sort of a minor detail around the artist's story. He comes on stage, and as soon as you see him, you instantly see the chair. I felt awkward, for sure. I, I didn't know, know how to behave or react. It didn't really matter to us. I needed to meet this artist. It was funny because like, it, it was a non-issue in 45 seconds. You can actually feel the audience taking it in, and then he starts to sing. He gives you a moment in time, and it's like, here you are. <laughs> Never Take this from me. I, it's what I have to offer you. And, and for that moment in time when you're listening to the songs, you're somewhere else. When people started reacting the way they did, he was surprised. I wasn't surprised. Justin has a story, and it's not the chair. The story is not the chair. If that was a factor, it was never a factor in the music at all. Like, everybody loved his music. You know, it was like, this guy's fantastic. The story is about hope. One of the things that I found really inspiring in our meeting was, I asked Justin, Justin, you know, when I'm referring to your challenge or your situation, how do I refer to it? Like, do, do I say that it's a challenge? Do I say, and it was very, very awkward. He said, well, you can call it anything that you want to call it. And I said, well, what do you call it? And he said, blessed. It's a fine time for April on the ground. How could someone not be inspired by Justin? You meet this young kid who's chasing his dream, and you feel his visceral commitment to it. And at the same time, there's not even a hint of arrogance, but instead humility. I mean, he's almost like, wow, I get to do this. It's inspirational. He said something that really stuck with me. He said, you know, if I had the opportunity to change right now, he said I wouldn't do it. He said I wouldn't want to do it. He's authentic. Uh, he's, he's the real deal. I think if people hear his record and hear a song on the radio, they're going to hear an amazing artist. And then once they see him, they'll get to see what an extraordinary person he is. And that doesn't come along in this life very often.
really believe there's there's hope in everything, and that's I'm not just you know saying that to sound sort of cliche and commercial, but I really believe that. And why shouldn't we take advantage of of the wonderful things that life has to offer, and why are we dwelling on the things that that hold us down? That sort of to me reinforces the importance of 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 finding a purpose in your short period of time here on Earth. Uh, I think love is one of the uh, few things in life that has no boundaries. I think he does have a perfect picture of love in his head. You just call. That sounds crazy, but to some degree I try to love everybody I come in contact with and, and find what's good and what's cool about them. He finds the best in everybody. He comes into a room and the energy changes. And to me, that has always been what makes a star. I've never signed a bag before. This is awesome. He is the kind of artist that people come up to him and just they can't control themselves emotionally. He signed my receipt bag. You can't help but to leave a conversation with Justin feeling better. Like he just has this innate positivity. I've never seen anything like it, and I've played with a lot of people. We love you, Justin! <laughs> he makes the world a better place. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> well, I wish you well. Yeah, the music has kind of brought me here, oddly enough, and uh, hopefully it'll continue to carry me.